I am representing Central Mining Institute. It's uh, one of the biggest research institutes in the south of Poland, 600 people, mostly researchers, engineers. My name is Jan Bondaruk. I am a head of the Department of Water Protection. Water uh, uh, is important because it is present everywhere. So uh, you cannot today uh, avoid to talk about water, to talk about economic sustainability and to talk about development. From our point of view, I am representing a region where water was always a very important issue. First, because uh, the, um, the concentration of industry and urbanization makes water bodies um, more or less polluted and even in some, in some uh, aspects uh, not ready to be, to be used. So we concentrate on these uh, activities and we should concentrate uh, worldwide uh, to prevent uh, water uh, bodies from uh, these uh, bad aspects of uh, our presence. In many cities there is a procedure, there is a companies, even there is a, a enough money. But water, finally, it's uh, not a, a, a winner, let's say. So uh, it happens very often, especially according to the rain uh, uh, or storm uh, uh, and heavy uh, rain. Uh, for example, in urban areas uh, uh, it happens that uh, water makes a local flooding and people then understood that something uh, is uh, happened wrong. But normally, if there is no rain, everything seems to be okay. And uh, water uh, uh, is in a tap and sewage goes somewhere. And uh, we are very happy and we don't need water governance and water management. So uh, uh, urban areas for me is something like a laboratory for the future. And we have to implement not only technical, but also organizational and social aspects and especially in a region uh, um, uh, of Silesia, which I am representing, uh, the problem is that people many years, uh, they don't see that uh, water is a, a very important component of the, of the environment, of, this, of the vicinity. So now we are changing it, a lot of educational programs, a lot of um, coaching programs as well, is a way to change the behavior and uh, to treat water as an important factor of our reality. Are they open for, for listening to new ideas? Yeah, they are. But are they open to implement new procedures to change their uh, day-to-day activities? No. Uh, why? Because they don't feel that it is something uh, beneficial for them. But if, and it happens uh, uh, very often that in some areas uh, the, problems, the problems are so high that social um, pressure is bigger and bigger. Flooding is uh, one aspect, the bad quality and, not, uh, and the price of water is so high that people cannot afford for this. Then st starts a, a process which I like very much that people have to uh, sit in one uh, uh, room and discuss how to uh, uh, solve this problem. I would mention uh, a city of uh, Zurich in Switzerland and uh, I like the project of um, uh, uh, daylighting of the local streams because in many cities uh, there is concentration of building infrastructure. So new pipes, new channels and new uh, cost uh, consuming uh, solutions. But they uh, 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 try to do something in a, in a different way to build a natural retention of uh, their area. And I think it's, it's a good example for many cities. In Polish reality, EU funds is uh, something like uh, uh, give us opportunity to, 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 to join to the uh, uh, European research community. It's um, uh, not only benefit, but also a chance for us to uh, transfer our knowledge and uh, our experience into uh, a pragmatic way and we exchange this um, experience with uh, other researchers from other countries. Last decade we, we put all of um, EU funds into infrastructure and now we have to change it into more holistic and uh, long-term strategy and we, our institute, we find uh, a good place for us to act in this process and to, to uh, promote uh, sustainable management in day-to-day uh, -day activities. Mm -hmm.